This is one of the best Chrome extensions I've ever used, and when you combine it with ChatGPT, the possibilities are endless. I'm talking about Harpa AI, and if you haven't heard of this tool, you want to stick around. And what makes it even better is that it's free for now, and I don't know why they're not charging for it. But let's not bring too much attention to that, because I want to keep it that way, free. Harpa is like a magical Chrome extension. It has five stars for a reason. Today I'll be showing you some of Harpa AI's most impressive and amazing capabilities and they are so let me take you to their website and show you exactly what I mean so we're here on Harpa AI's welcome page and let's just review a few of the features it offers show responses from ChatGPT alongside Google search extract and summarize pages and then chat with AI buy when prices drop, page aware GPT prompts, custom AI commands, and summarize YouTube videos. So all you have to do is download this Chrome extension. What you want to do after that is you want to make sure you can integrate it with ChatGPT. The only thing you have to do to get Harpa AI integrated with ChatGPT, download the Harpa Chrome extension, and then log in to ChatGPT. It's as simple as that. Once you have a Google Chrome window open, the Chrome extension for Harpa AI will be in the top right hand corner and it looks like a circle with a line to the left of it so the first thing we'll do is enter a search term into the Google search bar and I'm gonna type in how to do keyword research now watch this once I open up the Harpa AI extension just by me simply entering in how to do keyword research on the right hand side in the extension Harpa AI immediately provides me with the exact details on how to do exactly just that. Now, the funny thing is I misspelled it. And so even though I misspelled it, it still knew exactly what I was talking about. So on the right hand side, it says keyword research is a process that helps website owners identify and target the right keywords, right? So with every Google search that you do, once you have the Harpa AI Chrome extension open, it's going to provide you with a synopsis to answering your question, specifically your search term. So let's go on to the next one. Check this out. So now I'm going to replace this and I'm going to enter in how to improve local SEO I hit enter it takes me to a new page open up that Harpa AI extension again and then on the right hand side it does the same thing now it's providing me with an article on how to improve my local SEO improving local SEO involves optimizing your website and online presence now the next thing I'll do is I'll do best coffee shops in Houston I'll open up the extension and then on the right hand side again it's gonna go ahead and continue with this Houston is home to numerous coffee shops ranging from cozy cafes to trendy and modern spots five of the best coffee shops in Houston and then it provides me with a nice description of what each coffee shop is and you can see as it goes on to each of the five companies it's going to give you a nice description of what each company provides for you so the next thing I'll do is I'll just type in best running shoes for men once I open up the extension again on the right hand side it's going to provide me with some very good options to choose from Nike Air Zoom Pegasus Hoka Clifton, Adidas Ultra Boost, New Balance, and Brooks Ghost. It's pretty good to where within the Google Chrome search window with this Harpa AI extension, you get all the detailed knowledge you need directly within this window. Pretty amazing. So now let me just provide you guys with a few of the most popular commands. So on the bottom right hand corner within my extension, if I hit the backslash button, it's going to populate with some of the most popular commands people use. Now check this out. You'll be impressed with all of the things it could do. So we have translate to English. We have reply, rewrite, compose, ask, ask me questions related to the open page. The list goes on. YouTube video summary, keyword report, extract and research SEO keywords. Now all these options we're looking at on the right hand side are going to be the most popular chat GPT prompts. So you can just scroll on down and see everything. YouTube audience analyzer, read transcript of a YouTube video and analyze its target audience. YouTube description generator, generate title description and hashtags for a YouTube video idea. And you can see how I can keep going and it has LinkedIn. It has a lot of things already integrated with it. But the possibilities are literally endless when you utilize this Harpa AI extension in conjunction with ChatGPT. So the next thing we'll try, let's click on a specific article and ask Harpa AI to summarize it for us. So I have my search term as being how to improve my SEO. And I'll just click on this SEMrush article. Now, I'll open up the extension again, and what I'm going to do this time is just ask it to summarize. So I'll click this prompt right here. Just by clicking that prompt, it's going to go ahead and summarize this whole entire page for me, breaking it down and paraphrasing it and making it easier to read. Update existing content, structure your content, target low competition keywords, be descriptive, and show your site's mobile friendly. Very good. Now I'll try it one more time. How to improve local SEO. I'll hit the summary command again, 
And then here we go on the right hand side, it's providing me with a summary of everything that's written in this article here that you see on my webpage. Now the other thing I'll do is I'm on an article right now where I just searched best AI tools. And then the next prompt I asked it was to create me some clickbait titles related to this article. And now you can see on the right hand side, it's going to give me 20. Unlock the power of AI, the best tools to revolutionize your business. Discover the future of productivity with these AI tools, don't miss out. So that's pretty good. Now let's try one more thing. And now I'm going to hit the summary command and now it's going to give me a summary of this page that I'm on right now. This is Forbes.com and I'm asking for a summary on the 14 best mind-blowing AI tools according to this blog post. It gives me a summary of the blog post and it gives me five bulleted points. But notice that this article has 14 AI tools that everyone should try. However, I don't see that in the article. So the next thing that you can do here is, is use the prompt called ask. Ask me questions related to the opened page. So now I'm going to ask it. I'm going to hit that prompt and now it says, sure, what do you want to know? For example, what are the key takeaways? I'm going to ask it, what are the 14 AI tools listed on this page? The 14 AI tools listed on this page are ChatGPT, Dolly, Stable Diffusion, Lumen, SoundDraw, Luca. Podcastle Gen 1, Lila, Deep Nostalgia, Murph, Legal Robot, Cleanup Pictures, Fireflies, and Crisp. Let me see if it got it right. I'm going to scroll down my page here, and I'm going to see if it got it right. And so I'm looking at these Lumen, Saldraw, Luca, Gen 1, Deep Nostalgia, Fireflies, and Crisp. So instead of having to read this whole entire article, you could simply visit an article like this, especially if you go to some of those articles where it's kind of hard to find the main topic points if it's not structured nicely. You can go to an article like this, open up Harpa AI, and then just simply ask it to do all of the dirty work for you. I could have just said, hey, on this page, what are the 14 mind-blowing AI tools that Forbes list on this article? It's going to save me the time and resources of having to dig and look. And it simply just provided all 14 of them just like that. Very helpful for those web pages that have a lot of context and you don't have much time to dig and read through it all. Moving on, the other cool thing we're going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this text right here. I'm going to highlight these two paragraphs and I'm going to copy all of this text. What we're going to do next is ask Harpa AI to rewrite all of it for me. So on the right hand side, hit the slash button and let's go to this prompt right here. Rewrite. Click it. And now we could see make changes to select the text. Sure. What would you like me to rewrite? And see, I have the option right here to where I can click selected text. Harpa AI knows that I have this text on my screen already highlighted. So once you have specific text highlighted, just simply press this button selected text and then it's going to come up with more prompts. What do you want it to do? Make longer, make shorter, fix grammar, simplify, change the tone and the list goes on. For this example, I'm going to ask it to make it longer for me. I select make longer and on the right hand side you can see it doing just that. We went from two paragraphs to now three. Let's take a look at it. In the world of technology, artificial intelligence has become the buzzword of the moment. So you could see on the left hand side on my main page, the two paragraphs, and then you could compare it to my AI prompt to see that it actually did make my text much longer. It added one whole paragraph and all paragraphs do look a little bit longer. Okay, so the next thing we're going to focus on is ask Harpa AI to change some of the latest news headlines into a tweet for us to tweet out. So I came over here to Google and I just simply typed in AI news so I can look at all of the latest AI news. And so what we'll go ahead and do is just click on one. This is going to be on VentureBeat.com, this very first one that pops up. So here we go. Here is the new blog post. Let's again open up our Harpa AI and we're going to ask Harpa AI to create a tweet for us. I'm going to hit the slash button and I'm going to go to the prompt called tweet and see it says summarize page into a tweet. So I have this whole entire page right now that I'm looking at. If I just hit summarize page into a tweet, you can see how it opens up at the very bottom. It says summarize the web page text content into a single tweet. We have two options. We can either do the page text or I can grab specific text on the page. In this case, let's just go ahead and select the whole entire page text. Hit tweet, page text, hit enter. And now it says, New Relic introduces Grok, a generative AI assistant embedded in this. Very good. Now let's do one more thing. Let's just go ahead and select this paragraph here. I got this paragraph selected. We're going to do the same thing, and I'm going to ask it to tweet again. But now this time, I'm going to ask it to do just this paragraph. So I'm going to hit grab, and I'll just go ahead and select this first paragraph here. I grabbed it, and now hit that send button. And now we can see that it's going to give me a tweet now based off that first paragraph. 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is go to a YouTube video. Here's one of my YouTube videos, and we're gonna ask Harper AI to summarize the whole entire video in just one Chrome extension side panel. Open up my side panel, and I'm gonna come down here to my commands, hit slash, and I'm gonna start typing in YouTube. And then what you'll notice is that the prompt is gonna be called YouTube Video Summary. Save time on watching YouTube videos, break down YouTube videos into parts and get key takeaways. I'm gonna select that, and it brings me down at the bottom and it says parsing video from page and here we go it's providing me with the bullet points based on this video and since i made this video let's see how good of a job it actually did leonardo ai is a beginner friendly tool for creating images using ai technology leonardo ai has a variety of models pricing structure features such as style consistent generations image to image Users can add negative prompts. Users can upload images, okay? Leonardo AI allows users to select from a variety of models and then talks about the RPG 4.0 model, how it can generate images based on prompts, and it can generate images of cute animal characters, copy and pasting prompts, and then uploading an image that was already created. Wow, so I have to tell you right now, within a matter of seconds, Harper AI provided you with a nice outlined synopsis of exactly what my video was. And since I actually made this video, it did nail it right on the head. Those are literally all of the bulleted points I discuss in this video right here, talking about Leonardo AI. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do, for now at least, in this video, is let's do something that's gonna be very impactful for SEO strategizing. I'm gonna go to a certain web page and I'm gonna perform a live website audit for SEO directly from the web page I'm currently visiting. So I'm on the web page based off of a search term, how to improve my local SEO in 2023. And I landed on HubSpot's blog post regarding this. So again, open up that Harpa AI extension and what we're gonna do is hit the slash button and I'm gonna start typing in SEO and I'm gonna select audit. And here's the audit option right here. As soon as I click this prompt, it's literally going to give me a audit right now based on this specific web page. And so you can see it gives me an option at the bottom. It says, enter your SEO article content or leave blank to parse from page. So what I'm going to do is you can do one of two things. I can just copy and paste the content or I can do nothing. And if you do nothing, just simply press enter and it knows that it's going to do it based off the whole page that you're on. So look at this. Overall, the content on this page appears to be well written, and it's giving me a very detailed SEO audit on the right hand side. Overall, the content on this page appears to be well written and informative. However, there are some areas where improvements could be made in terms of quality, relevance, truthfulness, and accuracy. You can literally go to any web page on any website and get a complete SEO audit in real time. Now, that's gonna save a ton of time, and within seconds, get a very detailed yet very quick description on how your web page is performing based off of this SEO audit. Okay, so now let's just go full disclosure here and let me go to one of my web pages that I do rank for Google on on the first page. And it gives me honestly just a decent score and it shows that I could really improve this page for SEO purposes. Overall, the page has a decent level of EAT as it demonstrates expertise in Tomball SEO and websites and the author appears to have experience in growing businesses through SEO. However, there are some areas for improvement. Relevance. The page is relevant to the search query as it focuses on providing SEO services in Tomball, Texas. But then here's where I struggle. The page lacks authoritativeness as there is no information about the author's credentials or experience. Suggestions for improvement. Provide external sources. Increase focus on user intent. Include more visual elements. Improve formatting. It does help me to understand that the page might not be as good as I would have hoped. Now, although this page is on the first page of Google first result, it doesn't mean that I become complacent. So I take this data and I really dive into it and I make sure that I could stay on the first page first result. That's about it for this video today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.